Israeli occupation forces stormed into occupied East Jerusalem Al-Quds towns Monday morning searching homes of Palestinian families over several hours. The result was the arrest of 32 Palestinians and seizure of tens of thousands of dollars besides documents and uniforms that show those Palestinians are members of Fatah Party and Palestinian Authority security forces. Palestinian sources said that this crackdown came in order to thwart Palestinian attempts to stand against the Israeli schemes to impose control over the holy city and allow the leakage of Palestinian homes and lands to settlers. This crackdown is part of the Israeli occupation's attempts to stop Palestinians and particularly Fatah party activists from carrying out their national duties that aim at protecting the holy city because of their recent PA positions against the Judaization of Al-Quds. We at the Prisoners Club hold Israel responsible for those vengeful arrest campaigns against Palestinian youth in Al-Quds. Israeli police issued a statement saying those arrested violate what they describe as Israeli sovereignty because of their involvement with the Palestinian Authority security forces, accusing them of supporting terrorist activity. Palestinians say the arrest is part of an ongoing harassment policy that has seen a significant rise in the past two months. Israel aims at Judaizing the city geographically and demographically. This is why they are carrying out those arrests. Those arrested today are members of Fatah party, but also the mayor was arrested more than once. Ministers of Al-Quds were banned from travel and others were punished by punitive measures and illegal steps are taken against activists recently to pressure them to stop their resistance, thinking that it could succeed in breaking their will, but they will not. This comes a day after Israeli forces arrested the governor of Al-Quds, Adnan Ghaith, against the backdrop of his investigation into the leaking of Palestinian property to Jewish settler organizations. Palestinians say Israeli authorities want to protect those involved in such unlawful leaks. While Israeli police threatens to take firm punishment against those it accuses of terrorism, observers here say this crackdown is used as a form of pressure and is most likely to backfire because it stands on weak legal bases. Fatma Abdelkarim, Press TV, Jerusalem Al-Quds.